This is how you can make an advanced transcript command for Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click Click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video. So we can start off by going over to moderation and we can go ahead and create transcripts.js. In here we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder. We can get our permissions bit field. We can get our action row builder. We can get our button builder. We can get our embed builder. We can get our button style and we can also get our channel type. And then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. So we can do const and we're going to go ahead and do create transcript and we can do equals and we can do require and we can go ahead and do our discord and we can do html transcripts so you're going to want to go ahead and download that package or npm install that package and then your terminal for this to work otherwise you can't make this so then we can go ahead and do module the exports we can do equals we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder we can then go ahead and set a name which is going to be transcript then we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say transcript the specified channel we can go ahead and add a channel option so we can do add channel option we can do our option arrow function option dot set name we can get our channel we can go ahead and set a description here and we can go ahead and say the channel will be a transcript and we can go ahead and add our channel types so we can do add channel types we can go ahead and get channel type and dot guild announcements and then we can do channel type dot guild text we can go ahead and get our channel type dot announcement thread and then we can also do channel type dot public thread and we can do channel type dot private thread then we can go ahead and set required and we're going to go ahead and make that true then we can go ahead and add an integer option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name. This is going to be our limit. We can go ahead and set a description and we can say the limit of transcripted messages. And we can go ahead and set required to true. We're going to go ahead and set a min value and this is going to be one. And we can set a max value. And we can just go ahead and put one million in for that uh, so that you can only transcript up to one million messages. Then we can go ahead and do async execute and we can get our interaction. And we can go ahead and open this up. And here we're going to say if and we can say no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and get our permissions bit field dot flags dot manage messages and we can just go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we can say content and we can say you don't have perms to use this command and we can go ahead and set informal on this message to true the other thing we can do is we can go ahead and define our client up here i believe we're going to use it as well then we can say let channel equals interaction dot options dot get channel and we can go ahead and get our channel and then we can also do let limits equals interaction interaction to options to get integer and we can go ahead and get our limit integer then we can do await interaction to reply and we can say contents and we can say your transcript is being loaded this may take a few minutes and we can go ahead and set informal to true so basically it might take up to like five minutes or it could take a long time depending on how many messages you're trying to put into a transcript so we do want to go ahead and send that just in case then we can do const file equals wait create transcript we can do a channel so we can go ahead and get our channel and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get our limit, which is going to be limit. We can do return buffer, which is going to be false. And we can do file name, which is going to be our channel. Dot name, dot two lower case. And then we can do a minus. And we can go ahead and get transcript, dot HTML. And we can do let cache equals client, dot channels, dot cache, dot get. And we can go ahead and get the ID of a channel to send this file in. Now it is going to actually give you a website to get the transcript on, but we're also going to go ahead and send it into a channel as well. So we can also do let message. So msg equals await cache.send. And we get files, and that is going to be our file. Then we do const button equals new action row builder. And we can go ahead and add components. We can go ahead and do new button builder. We can go ahead and set a label, and this is going to be open. And then we can go ahead and set URL. And we can go ahead and paste this very specific URL in here. Now it does have to be this exact one. So we're going to do this. So we can do this exact URL, but in it, 
After the equals, we can do MSG, attachments first, and then we can do parentheses, question mark, and then we can do dot URL, and just like that, so that when you click this button, it's gonna go ahead and open up the transcript. So just go ahead and pause the video and type that out. Then we can do dot set style, and we can get button style, and then we can do dot link. And then after that, we can add a comma. We're gonna go ahead and create another button, but we can actually just go ahead and copy and paste this one. So in here, we can go ahead and do download, and we're gonna actually go ahead and replace this, and we can open this up. We're gonna go ahead and get to msg.attachments, and then we can do dot first, and then we can do a question mark, and then we can do dot URL. So basically the same thing that we had above, um, but this way we're actually gonna go and put that into a download. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and do const embed equals new embed builder. And we can go ahead and set a color, which is going to be green. And we can go ahead and set a description. And we can go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna go ahead and get that box emoji. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and say your transcript for, and we can go ahead and get channel. And we can say is ready with a limit of, and we can do backslash tick. We can go ahead and get our limit, and we can do another backslash tick. And we can do await interaction dot edit reply. And we can say embeds, and we can go ahead and get our embed. And we're also going to go ahead and say content. So we can say content. We're going to set that to empty. And we can also go ahead and set informal to true on this message. All right, so now after that, we can also go ahead and add components. We can do components, and we can go ahead and get our button components. Uh, I just forgot to add that in. So we can go ahead and add that in. And with that, we are actually done with this entire system and command. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and get my transcript command. And and we can go ahead and get the vids channel and then we can go ahead and get our limit so i'm going to do 1000 and we can go ahead and send it so it's going to say your transcript is being loaded and as you can see it's going to be done now so it didn't take that long we can go ahead and click on the open button here and it's going to open up a link now as you can see it's going to load in and here we go so at the top it's going to give me the server the channel and it's going to go ahead and say the start of the channel because it does not have a channel description and then as you can see it's going to give me a transcript of the last 1000 messages that happened within this channel so here you can see this is the most recent one and then if we go all the way up here this is going to be the oldest one the 1000th message so you can basically use this to moderate channels if you need it's very useful actually um so yeah we can actually go ahead and try to download this now so it's going to go ahead and bring me to this link and it's going to go ahead and download this but if we go ahead and open this up, it's going to be a file, but it's still going to be a transcript just like it was before. So I want you to notice one more thing here. If we go over to the ASCII command testing, it's going to go ahead and send this message. So this is what it actually uses to be that download and to be that transcript here. So it actually has everything in here uh, that we just saw in the transcript. So as you can code an advanced transcript command for discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. You might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.